What's up, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe After Effects CC 2014. Okay, something has changed a lot in this most recent version of After Effects. Now, this was released around the 17th or 18th of June 2014. And what that is, is that if you go on and you view my video for After Effects CC render output settings for H.264, you will see that that is no longer an option here. So we come over here to preferences and to output. We no longer have that checkbox to check to give us the options that they excluded from our list. So that's no longer available to us. However, let's say that you want to uh, render out in H.264. You can come into composition add to render queue, come over here to lossless, and then choose ABI, come down to quick time, and then format options, and then choose from video codec, and choose H.264 for your quick time options. So that is one way to get your H.264 if that's what you want. However, the other option is to come over here to um, our composition and choose add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add that there. Okay, now once the Media Encoder opens up, it's automatically gonna show what you've got here. And it seems, at least for me, from my experience so far, it automatically sets you at H.264. So that's already set for you within the Media Encoder. So you come over here and choose where you want to save your file to. I'm gonna save mine over to here there it is okay i want to save mine here so that's what we're going to do next thing that i want to do is i want to come over here and i want to click on the match source high bit rate click on it and now what this is going to do is that this is going to open up the dialog and it's going to show you the source and the output so basically it's going to show you what it looks like from the source file and then what it's going to look like after you output it using this format right here and so we're choosing the H.264. We're going to match the source file perfectly with this chosen preset. You can also come down here to the bottom where you got effects, video, audio, multiplexer, captions, and FTP. We can also change some information here as well, which we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to click OK because everything seems to be right in what we want to do here. Okay, so now uh, you also can choose from the little drop down list here to give you all the other options that used to be available within After Effects Render Queue that's no longer available there, that's available here. Now, the reason why uh, I think Adobe has totally removed the, the ability to uh, output in different types of uh, formats within the After Effects Render Queue is the fact that what happens whenever we render out within After Effects? We're stopped. We can no longer work, right? So once we hit that render button and we start rendering out our projects, we cannot continue to work within After Effects, right? So we are halted. We're stopped. So using the Adobe Media Encoder, we're able to continue to work within After Effects while our project is being rendered out as long as you've got a fast enough system to do them both at the same time but either way now we can work side by side together without stopping our workflow we can continue our workflow while we're rendering out our project so let's just go ahead and do a sample render okay so, so now we come over here and we're going to click on start queue and then it's going to start to render out our project for us and we can simply watch it down here as it's rendering out and then the higher your quality, the more time it takes. So let's give this a second and let it render out. Okay, now we are done. So what you're able to do now that we could not do within After Effects Render Queue was after the file was completed within the Render Queue, it disabled the ability for us to click on it to open it up, right? So now we can actually come over here and click on the file name and it will open it up inside the folder. So let's come over here and we're gonna take a look at the original file that I did the other day. So we're gonna open this up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move this over to here 
and then we're going to come down and open up another instance of our media player and we're going to drag over this file and then we're going to look at both of these files side by side and compare them to one another. So, both of them look good. Both of them got very strong, very vibrant colors to them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's really no difference between either one of them. So, I mean, yeah, it using the After Effects render queue or using the Adobe Media Coder render queue, to me, I think I like this. I think I like the fact that I can I can continue to work inside of After Effects while I am rendering out my project. It just makes everything just a lot better. The file that we rendered out is uh, rendered out at 12.3 megabytes. And the original file that I rendered out the other day for the project that I uploaded rendered out at 22.6 megabytes. So it's almost a 10 megabyte drop between using After Effects to render it out and using the Adobe Media Encoder to render it out. So you also gain that. You also gain a much smaller rendered out file. So yeah, this is a humongous change right here between the two render engines, After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net inside of Adobe After Effects CC 2014, the newest release of Adobe's awesome After Effects program. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.